Hey bloggers, this is Debbie from DebbieStongalon.com. I recently wrote a post about saving time when creating blog graphics, and so I'm going to show you how to make some templates today that you can save in your social media file and then have access to every time you need to make a blog post graphic. So the most important one that you need to have is for Pinterest. You need a pinnable image on every single post and the most ideal size for that is 735 by 1102. So we're going to make a template for that. You're going to start in PicMonkey and go into design. When you do that and click on the T and it turns orangish brown here, you will see a drop down menu. We're going to create a custom size which is 735 by 1102. PicMonkey will then make you a rectangle, a tall rectangle that looks like this with a white canvas color automatically. That's fine. White great. You can just apply and then save. When you save this you're going to want to save it as the number one post pin 735 and then save it to your computer. You can see I have already done this here in my social media file and the number one is important in this file name because it allows you to see these these templates at the very top of your files. So you can see I organize all of my blog post graphics by date, year, or in 2015 by month, but at the top I have all these templates that I can pull up at any time. So that's exactly what you're going to do. Once you save that as that name, then I'm going to show you how it's going to work when you go to create a new blog post graphic. You will come to PicMonkey, you will click Edit, you will pick that file, that template that you made, which is right here, number one, post pin 735. And when it opens, it's exactly the right size. Now you can add graphics, you can add text, you can add textures, colors, pictures, whatever it is that you need. So that you don't have to fiddle with the sizes every time, you already have a template that you can just plug everything into. Hopefully, if you've been blogging for a little while, you've created kind of a brand for yourself. So you're going to use the same types of colors. You're going to use the same text, um, color of text, that sort of thing for all of your blog graphics so that people know that it's coming from you. And this is a great way to get that process started without having to take a lot of time. There are some other sizes that you need to make, as you might have seen in my social media file. There were um, two other sizes that are you can find in my blog post. It's down there in the notes at the bottom of this video. And you'll want to make those as well. One is a 900 by 900 square that you can use on Facebook, Instagram, and Google+. And the other is a 1280 wide uh, horizontal graphic that you really want for Twitter especially if you're using Twitter cards. So if you're using photo Twitter cards, which you should be doing, then this pose, that size for a blog graphic works perfectly. So make some of these templates, save yourself some time. If you have other sizes that you use regularly on your blog, make a template for it. It's very easy to do. And then you can save them and have them right at the top so you can pull them up very quickly and you can shave time off the whole process of publishing a post. Thanks for joining me with for this video and I hope you have a great day and remember you can do this.